Hello, and welcome. My name is Rob Plea Harden. I'm with Harden Associates, Cottrell and Leonard. We've been providing academic regalia and pulpit regalia to the seminary for many, many years. And now, it's your turn. And we're happy to talk about pulpit regalia with you. Now, what the seminary does something that's really nice, and that is that it offers you the opportunity, instead of having to buy a graduation robe and buy a pulpit robe, um, as you're just starting your career, it offers you the opportunity to wear your pulpit robe for commencement. So you can order your pulpit robe and you can get your hood and cap if you, um, for commencement um, and not have to purchase an academic robe in addition to the pulpit robe. So let's talk about pulpit robes. There are um, some features that they all have in common. So, let's look at this robe. One of the features that all the pulpit robes have in common is a cuff sleeve. Another feature they all have in common is some type of panel. The detailing on the robes, there's fluting, there's a lot of pleating over the shoulders. Um, it's all very well done to both make you comfortable and to make you look good. Um, each gown also has a slit in the side um, so that you can reach your microphone, your wallet, your keys, Kleenex, whatever it is that you need to reach. One thing to note about a pulpit robe is it's kind of like the a la carte menu at a restaurant. So you choose which robe you want, which fabric you want, and then you choose things like, do you want the traditional closure? Do you want a zipper closure? Do you want a pocket slit combination where you have a pocket in the robe in addition to the slit that you can reach behind and get to the pockets in your pants or dress? Um, or do you want a pocket slit on both sides? All these things, of course, impact the price, um, as well as the design and the fabric of the robe. So let's talk about, we offer basically four different styles of pulpit robes. And I, I, as we go along, I'll talk about some of the different details that you can add to the robes. Um, first, I think I'm just going to show you the robes, and then I'll take one and we'll talk about different details. So, kind of the more traditional robe is the Canterbury. This one happens to have the doctor's bars on it, which you can put on, but unless you have your doctorate, it shouldn't be on the robe. So, the Canterbury has the velvet panels down the front with a space in between them. The Windsor basically is the same gown, except the velvet panels meet in the front. Now, from my perspective, the Windsor is more a traditional academic robe where you see the velvet meet in the front, which is great for academics who, for the most part, are going to be wearing this a couple times a year. You might be wearing this a couple times a week or more. So my suggestion for someone who's looking for a pulpit robe as opposed to an academic robe is to go with the Canterbury as opposed to the Windsor because if you're doing a baptism, you're going to have oil and water on your hands. You might get wine on your hands. And when you continue reaching up and down the velvet, opening and closing it, you get the stuff on your hands. After a while, I mean, not certainly not immediately, but after a while, the velvet may be, you know, may look a little dirtier or a little more um, worn than you would if you have the separation between the panels. The other robe is the Asbury. Now, basically, the difference between the Asbury and the Canterbury is that the panels on the Asbury are the same fabric as the gown, so you don't really see the panels. This may be a good choice for someone who's going to be wearing stoles frequently. Um, as opposed to the Canterbury, you have the nice look of the velvet going down the front um, all the time, particularly if you're not wearing stoles or anything else. But if you're wearing a lot of stoles, it's a little less visually when you have um, the Asbury. Again, same type of details, cuff sleeve, wonderful pleating details, but it's just all one fabric. The last robe I'm going to show you and then we'll talk about some of the details more, is the Essex. Now, the Essex was primarily designed for women. Um, it's a slightly smaller silhouette of the gown. 
and the velvet panels on the front are smaller. Um, and as some of you know, when you're five foot two, you can't necessarily carry off the same type of clothing as someone who's six foot two. So again, it's a slightly um, smaller silhouette on the gown. It's not quite as billowy and the velvet panels are narrower in the front. You also again have the same cuff sleeve, the same beautiful fluting and detailing around the shoulders, and the same pleating coming all over the front. I'm going to hold on to the, the Essex and we'll talk about some of the details. The details you can get. This, the normal closure on a pulpit robe is a button closure. Personally, I think that's the best closure and it's what comes with the gown. This enables you to slide a microphone wire in. It enables you to just gently reach in your pocket and grab Kleenex if you can't reach around the back um, without having to hike your gown up as opposed to if you would have a zipper. Some people will choose the zipper option. Um, again, that's part of the a la carte menu, so there is a cost for it. You see the little thing hanging here. You'll also get a few extra buttons with your robe. That comes standard. Um, the other options are the pocket slit. And you can't, I'm sure you probably can't see it real well on camera, but the slit allows you to reach in and get into your pocket. If you have, you know, an article clothing that has a pocket on. You can also have the pocket slit combination. So if I slide my hand in here, I've got a pocket if I want to put, if I'm doing a funeral and I just want to slide a small pack of Kleenex in there, because they'll probably be needed and it's easier access. Um, you can get the pockets, pockets, a pocket slit combination or a slit on either side of the robe. My suggestion generally is if you're going to get a pocket slit combination on one, but to have the slits on both sides, then if you're in a situation where the mic will only work if you have it on this side, you know, because that's the dynamics of the building that you're in doing a guest sermon, you know, all those little things, if you have the pocket slit combination, you pretty much can access your belt. Or some people, you know, wear a small fanny pack underneath to keep the little things they may need, a pen, those things, because they don't want them in their pockets. Again, if you have the pocket slit on, or the slits on both sides or a pocket slit combination on both sides, it in the long run just adds a little versatility to the gown. Again, it also does add to the price, um, minimally. So those are things to consider. Fabrics. Um, the fabrics for pulpit robes are designed to last for a while. Um, a pulpit robe should stand you in good, set, good stead with proper care and proper cleaning and so on and so forth. The fabrics, most, most of them are 100% polyester. We have the Dalton crepe, and I'm not gonna try to show them to you because it's on camera, it's not really gonna make that much difference, but I can give you some kind of descriptions. The Dalton crepe is the same material that the blue special regalia gown is made out of for the seminary, um, and has been for a number of years. It's a crepe material, um, has a lovely texture, and I once had had the fabric described as the person wanted that fi fabric because the black was the blackest black of all the fabrics. We also have um, peach skin, which, as the name implies, has a soft sanded silk feel to it. Peach skin is a gorgeous fabric. It has the best drape and flow of any gown fabric I've seen, but in order to get that drape and flow, the fabric is very tightly woven. So if you're ordering gown and peach skin, you are going to want to be someone who doesn't get overheated easily. Um, there's a Regency poplin gown. It's a beautiful Regency poplin fabric. However, pragmatically, I don't recommend it because it's going to wrinkle. And particularly for something like a pulpit robe, you don't want it to be wrinkled all the time. Um, another fabric um, that that I recommend highly. It is one of the more expensive fabrics, but I've also had um, some of your alumni associates recommend it to me. Um, had a couple guys in Texas call up to order robes after they'd had the robes for 25 years, and I started getting into the whole spiel about the fabric, and they said, nah, just stop. I've had this tropical wool robe for years, and when it's hot in here, and but if the fan blows my way, I actually feel the breeze. And it kind of sounds like an oxymoron. I'm going to wear a wool robe to feel cooler. 
but the fact that the wool is a natural fabric and that you get that, you know, that it's not woven so tightly as something like the peach skin, if you're someone who overheats, it's, it is something I highly recommend. It's a comfortable fabric. Um, and again, if the fan's blowing that breeze past you, you're going to feel it more than any other fabric. So those are the basics about pulpit rows. Um, again, it's kind of like the a la carte menu. We start with the basic design and the fabric, and then we go from there, depending on what your choices are and what you're looking for. With the pulpit robes, you can also order the, you know, the standard mortarboard, if, you're, if that's something you want for commencement, or the hood, um, or custom hood, if, you know, you're one of the denominations that wears hoods, you know, with two services. Those are all options. The one thing about the pulpit robes is you got to talk to me. Because there's so many different options, it's not something we really have set up where you can order it on the website because your robe is going to be different than one of your colleagues' robes. So there at the bottom, there is a way to set up an appointment so we can talk about um, what exactly you want in a robe. Or if you've made up your mind, if I've given you enough information and you say, hey, Rob, this is what I want to do, we can get that order taken care of. And if you choose to order a TAM, if you're a doctor, you know, if you choose to order a mortarboard and a hood, we can take care of all that in one, at one time, and you don't need to go back onto the other website to do that. Okay, thank you very much for your time and attention, and we'll talk to you soon.